hello nice to see you again today uh, I'm heading again uh, to to the river uh, yes river uh, Teresa and I want to photograph uh, deeper if you, you don't know uh, what deeper is it's a uh, quite little bird uh, brown color and uh, the European uh, species, species uh, has a uh, white uh, chest and you can find him uh, by the river or where the water is but uh, you have to search for him uh, uh, on the stream of water uh, so you need moving water if you know what I mean and I'm heading to the location where I photograph ducks in my previous vlogs uh, I saw him uh, three times I guess there so I hope it, uh, he will be there because uh, you know then I will have to change my plans for today's photography but hopefully he will be there if not then I will see what what to do as you can see uh, the snow is falling right now yesterday night it was snowing uh, very uh, intensively and today we've got this weather it's quite dark so I was uh, thinking that uh, well, I was thinking about uh, landscape photography but uh, now I change, changed the plans I have to wear a mask because uh, here are some people and here in Slovakia you have to wear a mask on public places so yeah sorry for my hidden face as you can see the river is behind me yeah I hope you enjoyed my previous vlogs about ducks and my favorite magic wood. By the way, now I am uh, seeing the magic wood. Uh, don't worry, more vlogs are on the way, so stay tuned for sure. Hit the bell button down there under the video and thanks for your likes comments and views of course yeah it's very beautiful outside as you can see the trees and the trees are covered by snow and i am very close to the location where the dipper should be so Whew. I hope he will be there. Let's move on. So the situation is that uh, the dipper isn't here yet but uh, I will try to search for uh, for him 
and probably I will have to wait. So let's prepare the equipment and hopefully they will arrive. Let's move on. Just as I stopped the previous uh, part, the dipper appeared and right now it's right there where I saw him yesterday and last times. So uh, now I have to uh, prepare my equipment and start photographing. Let's move. Now I'm trying to do a longer exposure just to get the blur effect of the water as you can see We'll change that Oh yeah, what a good start it is.
the dipper is now uh, gone and he went for a uh, hunt you know uh, he was sitting on the on the rock as uh, you saw and uh, he was he was there for a couple of minutes he was like uh, what I noticed he was like uh, having a rest or something like like that and uh, uh, after I don't know maybe five minutes uh, then he he just uh, uh, starting to stretch his legs, his uh, wings, and just then he's preparing to going under the water. So that's uh, really amazing to uh, to just now observe the the bird as uh, he's behaving in uh, this condition and how uh, how he's uh, hunting and behaving. Uh, during uh, you know during the hunt or just during the state of uh, rest and yeah that's uh, that's pretty awesome and just just doing that that you are uh, watching uh, different kind of uh, species of uh, animals I, uh, I don't uh, I don't mean like uh, just only birds but animals just you are there out there with your camera and uh, you are searching for wildlife and you can when and when you find it you just uh, observe it and you get uh, you get knowledge and you get to know uh, this uh, particular uh, animal so uh, just you are uh, just this way you are you are learning uh, about animals the most and that's what I do uh, when I'm doing photography of roe deer of uh, ducks and whatever uh, animal you have to spend time out there in nature with uh, this uh, animal which you are uh, photographing or uh, you want to photograph and maybe then by uh, observing and reading in a, in a books or on the internet the facts about this animal uh, can uh, help you a lot so that's uh, the tactic which I use and uh, I recommend to you uh, to do that uh, maybe the same yeah so uh, the dipper is still uh, gone and as I now yeah, he's uh, behind the different rock and just uh, watching the water. So I'm, uh, I will try to do some photography.
the dipper disappeared and I decided to change the angle and maybe I will go on the other side of the river and maybe I get a closer shot of uh, dipper. Let's try. Dipper is now gone and uh, I'm still waiting for him on the other side of the river as I was uh, photographing him. You can see I was right uh, there and he was sitting here on the rocks but now he didn't came up or didn't show up and I think that uh, he will come again but uh, it will takes it will take some time so I will probably wait here or not I will see because the magic wood over there is calling me right here so maybe I will go for a walk but uh, I wanted to tell you about uh, how how to uh, how to discover that uh, uh, on the river in your country or, or, or uh, on your location how you can uh, discover that the dipper is there so it can be uh, that uh, you will find his uh, uh, his sheet on uh, you know uh, on the rocks where uh, he is uh, often uh, sitting or uh, let's say standing and uh, just there you can just spot that uh, there are some signs of uh, of him uh, and uh, by this way you can you you know then that uh, he's there or th there is a chance that uh, he will show up yeah so uh, that's a uh, maybe that's a tip for you how to find him if you can't uh, see him because uh, uh, now in the winter when the rocks are uh, covered with uh, snow uh, he is very well camouflaged with uh, with that uh, area so you have to search very 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 carefully and uh, yeah maybe you you will be lucky and you will find him yeah, so that's uh, probably uh, all for me today. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please uh, support me by uh, subscribing me, you know, uh, just comment my video or like if you want. And yeah, the more vlogs, as I said, are coming. So stay tuned and stay safe. Be healthy and take care. Bye from Joseph from the Magic Wood. Bye. Thank you.